to a day in our life. This is the show where you get a little bit of everything. This is another episode of the Wonder Bill Show. The Wonder Bill Show. Afraid of you. <laughs> do it again, do it again. That was that's some power behind it. <laughs> sound effects. You got good sound effects. <laughs> Find more grapes. We got time to waste. Ready, set, go! Uh oh, uh oh. <laughs> Aww. No! <laughs> There's both of your exercise. Welcome to today's video. Hope you're having a wonderful day. Eva and I are hanging out outside and it is an absolutely gorgeous day. Just gorgeous. So we're trying to spend as much time as we can outside because the weather has been like hit or miss lately. A um, little bit of freezing weather, lots of rain, but today it's beautiful. So anytime it's beautiful, we try and spend as much time outside as we can. But today I'm gonna do a little Q&A. Um, I know we've been kind of gone again for a couple weeks. I'm also watching Eva and the, the camera here, make sure she's not doing anything weird. Um, but I know we've been gone for a couple weeks. That's life. I'm not going to provide any other explanation. Just y'all know we're busy. But I did a Q&A on my Instagram, Blue Blurry Fitness, and then our Wonderbuilt Instagram too. Um, and so I'm going to just go through and kind of answer some questions about life, fitness stuff, and uh, yeah, as we go, so. What about a sloth? Go get more grapes. <laughs> so um, I'm gonna overlay some footage of uh, the gym and just kind of things that we've been up to uh, as I answer some questions. So hope you all enjoy, hope you're having a great day and let's get into it. So our first question I'm gonna answer in the, uh, the shade right here, it's really bright. But uh, did the exterior of the house get finished? The answer is yes. Uh, I mean, of course, all besides the painting, but... So we have not painted it yet, obviously, because that's something that, well, I say Matt and I, but some something that we are gonna do on our own. But the house is, is all finished. Um, there, there are a few things internally that are not done that we are just going to be doing on our own. Um, and using another contractor but essentially I mean obviously it's livable we've been in it for a long time um, everything in terms of functionality is done but there are just some a various like some various things that we need to finish that are we're gonna be doing on our own because obviously the contractor we had so many issues with and so we've just 
like done with that and now we're going to be um, using somebody else to finish out what we need to be finished. So, yes. This next question is a good one. How do you balance being a mom with fitness life? Um, to be honest, there's, there's a lot of imbalance there because <laughs> um, it, it honestly comes down to figuring out your priorities and scheduling things out as much as possible. Now it's hard to schedule things out whenever you have an unpredictable child but if I know that, okay, I'm going to go to the gym today at 10 o'clock. If I have that like as a routine every single week, I typically go around that time. Um, she either goes next door with Matt's parents or she goes to the, the childcare with us now. And so just having a plan as much as possible, having some flexibility within there, but trying to stick to somewhat of a routine as much as you can is so helpful for me. Um, like I said, there's there's not a whole like Some imbalance does have to happen because I mean there are some times when after she goes to bed I have to um, Do my cardio or finish a workout or things like that um, Matt and I try to Help each other out like if he wants to go for a bike ride I'll watch her obviously while he does that um, And he'll watch her while I go to the gym if childcare is unavailable um so there's a lot of give and take. There are gonna be times where the balance is not there uh, because if you have certain goals in your fitness, then sometimes it takes getting uncomfortable and being okay with things not being perfectly balanced, just knowing that it's only temporary. And I know that's really vague, um, but I think the biggest thing is trying to stick to some kind of routine or schedule. And of course it's gonna be flexible because you've got a toddler being a mom, I mean, uh, not just ha having a toddler, if you've got a baby, if you've got multiple kids, if you've got older kids, just trying to st stick to some kind of routine. As she gets older, it is becoming easier um, because obviously we can take her more places. She's okay at the gym childcare now. Um, so yeah, as she gets a little older, it's a little easier to keep a routine, but just having some type of, of routine and schedule is so helpful. She's playing with a wind chime back there. Uh, which do I think is harder, infant phase or toddler phase? This is a difficult question because they both have, I mean, any parents can sound off and let me know your thoughts, what you think in the comments below. Um, they both come with very different difficulties. I think the toddler or the, the infant phase is crazy because you go from, especially if it's your first child, you go from being a completely independent person to your life revolving around this new human that you are not sure what to do with all day, every day, lack of sleep, complete uprooting of schedule, complete change in who you are. If you were, you know, a mom, you're dealing with all the hormonal things and how your body's changing all the while taking care of this new human that you're getting to know. Um, now the toddler phase is crazy too because they're developing their own personality, their own preferences, um, usually very strong personalities, which is, I think is a, it's a great thing because I mean, this, this little girl is strong-willed, um, which will be great later in life, obviously. But starting to figure out how to stand your ground as a parent and how to um, basically teach them things as they start to understand things, but you're also gonna be butting heads because parents are strong-willed, children are strong-willed, and sometimes they don't always understand, hey, you can't do X, Y, Z because it's not safe, and in their mind, they just wanna do X, Y, Z. So, um, honestly though, I think that the infant phase is harder 
just because of everything being so new for me at least um you know hormones postpartum depression all of that came into play too and then you throw sleep deprivation on top of all of that um it's very very difficult and obviously newborns they you know take naps constantly and they need to be fed constantly toddlers are a little more self-sufficient although it's exhausting in a whole other way i sleep better now because she sleeps through the night um she eats normal meals and snacks and i mean yes again it's exhausting because she is everywhere and they're fast and they get into everything but she can at least understand things now you know if, if she gets hurt she understands why she's uncomfortable and crying versus a newborn you can't, you can't really they don't understand you you can't you can talk to them obviously but you they don't really understand you so i like her being able to, to understand she's singing christmas songs <laughs> um seeing that like those little moments newborns are wonderful and honestly i do miss those times because of how cute and cuddly and like she just like snuggles with you but this is a lot of fun so i feel like the infant phase for me was harder but any parents let me know what you think below all right so it's late i'm editing this video eva's asleep matt's making his dinner um and i'm already at about 12 minutes so i've got a few more questions already filmed but i'm going to save them for a continuation of this Q&A uh, next week, but I wanted to open up in the comments. If you have any questions for us for our Q&A video, let us know. Um, I mean, literally fitness, life, house, RV, parenthood, anything goes. We all know this channel is about our life. So feel free to drop us some questions. The more fun, you get some bonus points. And uh, I'm gonna go ahead and it's dark. I'm gonna go ahead and close out the video, but not before we say hi to this guy who still exists. I'm just making nachos. Your favorite. <laughs> yeah, this is what I've been doing for all these weeks. Uh -huh. <laughs> yep. well, it seen looks me. like you got a little decent little spread going here. You got five different, six different kinds of cheeses. I guess if you add them all up. Wait, and then there? you got some coffee, yeah. you got some beef, you got some... Sauce that's hot. Hot sauce. That's right. Beans, chips. Mm. Mm. Also known as nachos. Um, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> since it's been a while since you've been on the channel, you want to sign us out? Do you remember what we say? We say, good luck out there. <laughs> that's not it. That was, that was one. <laughs> was that one? <laughs> that was... The, yeah. uh, I think whenever we took the RV home, oh. good luck out there. That's what the guy told us. I talk, yeah, we like, talked good about luck. RVs today and doing that mountain pass. Ooh, ooh. No, be merry out there. <laughs> <laughs> right, it's not Christmas anymore. <laughs> My bad. <laughs> good enough, good enough. Yeah. All right. All right have fun out there. Have fun out there, baby. Okay, baby. This is another episode of the Wonder Bill Show. The Wonder Bill Show.